Hello swimmers and coaches, I'm Robin Wiemet, here on behalf of Masters Swimming Canada. Tomorrow, here at the Jean Drapeau Aquatic Complex in Montreal, we'll be conducting a 50 meter swim clinic with the master swimmers of Montréal à Contre Courant. Today, we're testing our setup and practicing so that we're well prepared. The objective of the clinic is to film between 30 and 40 swimmers in an hour. In this video, we'll show you the cameras we're using, the swimmer's circuit, how we set up the equipment, and at the end, we'll show you actual footage collected during the clinic. Now, let's take a look at the equipment we'll be using. Our first camera is a readily accessible webcam, the Logitech Quick Cam Pro 9000, capable of capturing two megapixel video. It's attached to a laptop with the Quick Cam software already installed. It's a good idea to experiment with the settings for focus, exposure, and brightness in the same conditions as the clinic. Next, we have the Canon Vixia HF200 Handycam, a 1080i HD camera with its underwater housing, Canon WPV1, all ready to go swimming with us. Finally, we have the Sony HDRSR10 Handycam, also 1080i HD, with the Unipod. Now, let's take a look at how we'll organize the swimmers. Each swimmer will swim up to 75 meters at race pace in the stroke of their choice. This will allow us to capture major components of a race, the start, the turn, underwater and surface swimming. They start with a racing dive, complete a lap and a turn with a second breakout. After a few strokes, they swim to the side of the pool and climb out. Swimmers awaiting their turn are practicing dives. This allows more swimmers to be active, although it also means excluding the race finish from this set for safety reasons. Swimmers will come to the video circuit one lane at a time five or six swimmers for a rotation of about eight minutes, including the explanation of their task. Two lanes are needed, one for the swimmer and one to have unobstructed water for the underwater camera view. Now, let's take a look at how the cameras are set up. The first camera is a webcam set up to film the start from the side of the pool. It's placed to include takeoff and entry. In an outdoor setting, the bright light makes it difficult to see the laptop screen. We solve this problem by using a jacket or a towel that every swimmer can find in their bag. Occasionally, a volunteer will need to check the status of the laptop's battery. To have smaller files that are easier to work with, a new file should be created for every group of swimmers by stopping and starting recording. Our underwater camera is operated by a volunteer stationed in the middle of the pool. He stabilizes his position underwater by holding on to the lane rope above his head. He films the swimmer coming towards him and going by. Here, we see that the swimmer's body cannot entirely fit in the frame. For best results, the person filming should be at least a lane away from the swimmer, with the lane rope between the two removed. The volunteer's job will be easier with a nose plug and something to weigh him down, such as a dive belt or a heavy pair of jeans. Our next camera is a Handycam, placed to take advantage of the underwater window that we find at this facility. It provides a great view of the swimmer coming in for the turn and pushing off the wall afterwards. As long as the battery is fully charged on the Handycam, it can be placed at the beginning and forgotten about until the end of the clinic. Our fourth camera is operated by a second volunteer who stands 25 meters out from the starting block. After verifying that the underwater cameraman is ready, a signal is given to the swimmer to begin. The camera remains fixed until the swimmer reaches 25 meters, at which point the volunteer walks alongside the swimmer to have a lateral view for the rest of the exercise. We've just finished our clinic. Let's take a look at the footage. Video can help improve a common trouble spot, the dive. The webcam shows us the swimmer's position on the blocks, including center of gravity. We see the body's weight transfer off the blocks and its position in the air and on entry. Head body alignment and stroke rate are seen here with their effect on momentum through the breakout. This view shows the catch from the front and side, clearly showing the path of each stroke and the depth of the leg movement and body undulation. Here, we see the length, symmetry and smoothness of the stroke and the effect of all movements on body position. The Unipod helps to stabilize the camera, but some shakiness is to be expected when the coach or volunteer is not a professional cameraman. As with swimming, practice will improve results. The underwater turn camera shows the swimmer's transition from the approach to the push off and streamline. This can be used to identify problems that, if resolved, will shave valuable tenths of a second off the turn. All the footage taken during the clinic can be viewed online on the Master Swimming Canada YouTube channel. 
Some knowledge of video editing software allows us to take our results even further, as with these simultaneous images. Being able to pause or slow down playback with these synchronized views of the swimmer can deepen understanding, helping to clarify cause-effect relationships. Extended shots of a single swimmer as we have captured here show stroke errors and allow measurements of stroke count, times for specific race segments, and more. We'll cover more of this kind of analysis in part two of this video. We conducted a swim clinic that filmed 40 swimmers in one hour. Each swimmer swam 75 meters, including a start and a turn, and it was filmed from four locations. With careful planning to make the most of the time and space, and practicing with the cameras beforehand, it's possible to have a successful video clinic with your swimmers.